The world of cosplay is incredibly interesting. People spend hundreds and even thousands of dollars buying beautifully crafted outfits, wigs and weapons to dress up as their favourite fictional characters. The painstaking makeup application, the long nights sewing costumes, all for a few sweaty pics at an anime convention. And while I don't partake in cosplay as someone who obviously likes to dress up, I can really appreciate the lengths that some cosplayers will go to make their look come together. But some people take things too far. And if there's one thing that Tumblr is good at, it's taking things too far. Here's the story of the Homestuck cosplayer who dyed her skin grey in a bath full of Sharpie ink. No, I'm not kidding. Before we get into the video, I'd just like to really quickly mention I have a Patreon. <laughs> For like $1 a month, you can get access to polls, posts, um, exclusive videos like makeup and Q&As and stuff, uh, find out what videos I'm making before I make them, blooper reels, um, all that kind of good stuff, just a bunch of fun exclusive content. Um, so if you're interested in that, head over to my Patreon, the link will be in the description and thank you guys so much for supporting me and just watching my videos in general um it, it genuinely means the world to me so yeah thank you so much um and now let's get on to the story of the homestuck cosplayer who dyed his skin gray in a bath full of sharpie ink <laughs> let's go before we launch into the Sharpie bath incident, we first need a little bit of context, and yes, that means diving into the Homestuck fandom. Homestuck, for those who aren't aware, was a webcomic written and illustrated by Andrew Hussey. The webcomic is notable for being one of the longest in existence, spanning over 8,000 pages and 800,000 words. While reviews have been somewhat mixed, with some criticizing the plot as being overly complicated, the majority seem to enjoy it, both for its story and artwork. And while I personally haven't read the books, you don't need to be a Homestuck fan to know that the fandom is rather infamous. The concept of toxic fandoms has been around for a long time and basically any franchise or project that gets popular will be labelled as having a toxic fanbase. Homestuck was incredibly popular and is credited as having influenced a lot of modern day fandom and cosplay culture. Due to its popularity and huge fanbase, there were always bound to be a few bad apples. The fandom, while obviously being very talented and creative, became pretty infamous for their bizarre behaviour. Some examples of these dramas include cosplayers licking and eating inanimate objects in character, wearing grey skin paint out in public and to malls, fans paying $10,000 to have their OCs appear for one frame in the comic, an update of the comic crashing new grounds due to high traffic, social networking sites exclusively for Homestuck fans, weird and creepy cosplayers, and of course lots and lots of discourse. Like any huge fandom, it was rife with arguments, call outs and dramas which gave it the toxic reputation it has today. With a little bit of insight into Homestuck and its uh, eccentric fan base, we can now dive into the proper story of the Sharpie Bath. The story originated on 4chan on the board CGL, which stands for Cosplay and Gothic Lolita. It then made its way onto Tumblr where it circulated and became infamous. The story is told from the perspective of a cosplayer who was staying in the same hotel room as Sharpie Girl for a convention. Room with friends for Anime Expo. They have a few stragglers to make up for last minute dropouts in the room. They don't know one of the girls too well, but they need the money. Girl is probably where the term ham beast originated, as well as a few other words. See, weeaboo, japanophile. <laughs> We'll call her Terry. We get to the con Friday night and Terry is three hours late. This wouldn't have mattered but we had to pay at check-in and she hadn't paid yet. Get settled in. She throws her stuff all over the room and proceeds to start yakking about her new favourite thing, Homestuck. A forward, I don't mind Homestuck itself, but I hate the fandom. Saturday rolls around. Terry is cosplaying a troll from Homestuck, the one with the red eyes and the Libra symbol. She locks herself in the bathroom. I need to get into my troll makeup, don't come in. Two hours later, she still isn't done. There are two people in the room with Trinity blood costumes and myself and my friend have makeup that takes at least an hour to apply. Plus, we all still need to shower. Not that our costumes automatically take priority, but two hours, really. We notice a funny smell coming from the bathroom. Bathroom. Door is locked and she won't let us in. 15 minutes later, we start to get really suspicious. Friend decides to shimmy open the door. Her purse and valuables are in there and she needs to go. Get door open. Terry is sitting in the bathtub naked. The bathtub is filled almost halfway with what we later found out was 70% alcohol and Sharpie dye. Bottles and Sharpies are everywhere. It's all over the walls, on the tile, on almost all of the towels, on several articles of clothing and bags in the bathroom. What she says? I was gonna clean it up. Bitch, you tried to dye yourself grey in a bathtub. We kick her out of the room. She pays the $700 in damage fees and she gets skin poisoning slash damage from her stupid stunt. Fucking Homestuck fans. 
So after hearing this truly epic tale, you may have a few questions. Did this seriously happen? What happened to the cosplayer? Did she really get skin poisoning? Well, information on the event is scarce, but the original 4chan poster's friend made an account on Tumblr to reblog the post and add some extra context. That's the story as was posted. To clarify, it was one of those situations where my friend needed people in her room desperately because people had dropped out and we all know how expensive hotels were. They had known the girl from a prior convention and of course she seemed sane enough, but things just went progressively downhill as the convention went on. People have been saying that one can't get ink poisoning from Sharpies, and while you actually can, the other thing was that she had used a mix of Sharpies and 70% alcohol to dye herself in. Along with alcohol poisoning, overexposure to the substances combined can produce various negative effects on the body. I was called about the situation and dropped by my friend's hotel as they were moving stuff out. There were handprints and streaks of grey black Sharpie residue everywhere and they had kept Terry there to take down to the hotel staff to report the incident and have her pay for the damages. So yeah, that's the story, it happened. I'll try to dig up the picture of the hotel bathroom if I can find it to post up because damn, shit was redonk. The moral of the story is not to be such a fucking idiot and think before you act. Despite the ridiculous nature of the story, it had a pretty big impact on the cosplay community. Homestuck cosplays in general had a huge impact on the rules and regulations that modern day conventions have due to the cosplayer's heavy use of body paint. With many of the characters having grey skin, early Homestuck cosplayers would frequently cause damage to hotels and convention areas with their shoddy paint jobs staining everything that they touched. Obviously the convention organizers would have to pay for damages out of pocket, so inexperienced cosplayers with unsealed body paint were considered menaces in the community. Homestuck is the reason why some small conventions even today will forbid body paint and dye simply because they can't afford for a bunch of 13 year olds with patchy unsealed grey paint on their skin to go wiping it off on the expensive convention centre walls and bathrooms. Additionally, the Sharpie dye story wasn't the only bizarre story of Homestuck cosplayers causing unnecessary damage to their own bodies. A YouTuber called Alistair Casey made a video about the time that he superglued a pair of troll horns onto his actual hair for a cosplay. Alistair walked so Gorilla Glue Girl could run. He had to soak his hair in nail polish remover to loosen them and even when they did come off he had two massive clumps of superglue on his hair that wouldn't come off for like a month. He ended up having to wear a wig to school because of it. There are countless stories like this showing that the early days of Homestuck cosplay were pretty unregulated and unsafe at times. But what about the alleged skin poisoning, arguably the craziest element of the whole story? In multiple recounts of the story online, I've seen people claim that the cosplayer actually died from the Sharpie bath, but as far as I can tell, this isn't true. It seems that they did in fact survive, but many people are suspicious about the claims. After all, Sharpies are non-toxic and pretty much every website will tell you that it's impossible to get skin poisoning just from a Sharpie. You know, it's not like primary school where you do a single Sharpie dot on your arm and then suddenly everyone was screaming at you because you were gonna get skin poisoning. In reality, Sharpies are pretty safe, but that's in small doses on the skin. This girl was bathing in Sharpie ink and it was also mixed with alcohol. And alcohol is the key element here because bathing in it is extremely dangerous. In 2004, a Taiwanese woman died after 12 hours in a bath filled with 40% volume alcohol, her skin having absorbed the toxins which eventually led to her sudden death. Basically, your skin is going to absorb the alcohol at a very high rate, firstly making you super drunk and then killing you because you become poisoned from it. So in this situation, it most likely wasn't the Sharpie that caused the poisoning, although it probably didn't help, but the alcohol itself. To conclude, we must ask the most important question of all. Did this really happen? Well, that we don't know for sure. The original poster's friend claimed that they had a picture of the Sharpie bath in question, but as far as I'm aware, it was never posted. If the image is still floating around out there though, I would love to see it. If anyone has any leads or information about it, hit me up. There seem to be a fair few witnesses to this event, and Homestuck cosplayers have said that they have no doubt that something this strange actually happened. Given the abundance of downright wacky behavior in the fandom, I guess it's not that much of a stretch to believe it really happened. Personally, Personally, I like to believe that the story is true, but what about you guys? Do you guys think this is something that actually happened? And what do you think eventually happened to the cosplayer in question? The Homestuck Sharpie bath story is a bizarre one, but one that's rightfully earned its place in the Internet Hall of Fame for its sheer ridiculousness. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the topic of that video. It was a weird one, but when is it not a weird one on this channel? Like I said earlier, if you want to support the channel and throw me a dollar or anything, my Patreon will be in the description. Um, any support is very appreciated, but um, no pressure at all, don't feel bad if you can't. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, your support means the world to me, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye!
A massive thank you to my Garfield gods over on Patreon. Frank1982, Death2, Soap Tears, Dr. Hot Dogs, Kaylee and Bailey, Tristan, Lord Huge Knot is playing Maple Story, Mouse, Jason Salisbury, Dance and Ragdolls Comics, Tom McKinnon, Dennis Landry, Reimport, Gnome Piss, Cloudy ATM, Aiden McFan, Troy Dietrich, Jelly Kai, Powell Kidziora, Losers Club, Win the Jester, Moogs, De Gaulle, Rip Gunderson, Hyper Death Kisses, Rand Beasley, Matthew Wahlberg, Rodney Ogg, Sophie Skidder, Red Miff, Ice Hammer 82, Fiverr, Alexander the Late, Rudy Redgrave, Minty Lasagna, Cass Lomas, Brianna Robinson, Arcantilus, Kobayashi Maru, Arctic Mirror, Bippa, Destroyer of Worlds, Sarah, Fabulously Terrible, The Black Banana, Juicy, Gunner Strip 7, Karina Froge, Ariella, Casey Ha Megado, Elise, Natalie, Maya, Sneakerwiz, Gabby, Player TSD, Soapwood, Fen Volpius, Erin, Simon Renshaw, Astrium Vortex, Goodalol, Kendall Pachalik, Holly Nicole, Jesse Chisholm, Daniel Panama, Abby Illu, Reich Camilli, J Poop, Ash, Joe Bradshaw, Chelsea Levesque, Maxwell Bartholomew, Tyson, Joe, Sobbing, Yukiko Best Girl, Kerbicon, Albert BG, I'm Half Gyro Half Man, The $6.99 Man, DJ Lemon Heater, Ashley Kinda, your boy TRZ, Lewis, Alex Tate, Model Freak, and The Bone Saw. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting me. It genuinely means the world. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!